Hello, Nerdy Librarian here, bringing you another bonus content video from this legendary playthrough of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. This one, I'm having to clean up a mess, let me tell you. Last bonus content gone fishing was a disaster. I was trying to do Crustacean Extermination, have Felix Oddball take out a swarm of aggressive mud, grab, mud crabs, apparently. Um, and everything literally went wrong when it shouldn't have. Ran into dragons, bandits, uh, cultists. Literally everything that could have gone wrong during that episode did. So... Here I am trying to go ahead and finish this up. As you can see, I had to reload all the way back here near uh, Red Road Pass. So that's where I need to go, near that fishing shack. I'm actually going to fast travel back to Dawnstar here. There's a reason for that. Because, well, I'm kind of tired of just getting assaulted by everything on land. Since that's the case, I'm going to swim over to the shack by sea. Hopefully. Hopefully everything goes according to plan this time, because it was a train wreck. It was a massive train wreck. I thought, oh, you know, I just have to take out some mud crabs that are a little bit crazy. That's fine. Not going to be a problem. My own hubris got the best of me. Okay, there's the shack. So I didn't have to travel very far, thank goodness. Um, some horkers over there. I might be able to get the mud crabs to uh, attack the horkers, which might be the best option on this. Also, doing it this way, I might be able to just sneak up on everything that might want me dead in-game. Yeah, because there was some, there was definitely some weird stuff going on here, let me, let me just say. So I'm going to quick save, so I'm right here. <laughs> and then it just spawns wolves in. That was another thing that I encountered, so I am going to swim away a little bit. If I can draw the frenzied mud crabs this direction, I'll have a better chance, I think. Yeah, no, those those wolves just come out of nowhere. They just, they get ya. I, I really think they just spawned out of nowhere, too, on that. They are also fighting the frenzied mud crabs, which is good. I just don't want to get too far away from them, otherwise it won't count for anything. Also, I was using this last time. Glass bow stunning. I picked this up some time ago. And it's really fun. It's really fun to use. Oh, I accidentally hit the ice wolf. That was already, uh, that already got got by the crabs. Okay. Yeah, these frenzied mud crabs are no joke. Oh, also, another thing I need to mention about this is another reason I'm having to go back and redo this to finish this up is because my game crashed. Cut, kind of cutting off recording there, and I'm like, you know what? I'll take some time, decompress, not rage about this. I don't typically rage about things like that. Just just gonna throw that out there. But I kind of figured, you know, give myself some time to think about how I'm going to deal with this. And that's how I formulated the plan to do this by sea. To sneak out of the water instead of trying to go across land all that way, because there's a whole bunch of bad stuff through there. It's like no man's land. This is Skyrim World War One. you know what I mean? I'm just trying, just trying to get to the north part here, by the ocean, by the sea, to take out some mud crabs, and 
not deal with uh, everything else. So it says I've killed, I've taken out one already. Out of 12. Yeah, and that was another thing as well last time that I should mention. The quest itself glitched last time because there were so many enemies and so many things just going on that shouldn't have. So, and so what ended up happening was it got stuck saying there 11 out of 12 were done for, but there was no arrow that showed up, no quest arrow showing the last of the mud crabs. So I can only guess that it got sent through the world or something like that. Uh, my controller just conked out as well. That's really bad timing for that. Also, these frenzied mud crabs. I should warn you, are extremely fast. They are extra quick. They're like, they're like the Flash. Hi, Horkers, I'm not here for you. Guys, guys, we, we can be friendly about this. There's a mud crab infestation. <laughs> I need your help with that. Ah, uh, resisted paralyzed? Oh, buzzkill. What a buzzkill. He resisted it. Well, at least we're giving that mud crab a bad day. Thanks for the assist. Didn't mean to hit you with an arrow there. Okay, just... Okay, that's 2 out of 12. I'm making sure that counted. Because... I don't want it glitching on me again. <laughs> Honestly, the sight of this happening is just hilarious. This is so good. Just watching all these horkers. Just take these things out. It's hilarious. Get got mud crabs. Oh, that horker got in the way. And again. Okay, that counted as 4 of 12 down. That is good. That is very good. Now the horkers are kind of chasing me down, so I'm going to swim back out. And also, quick save while I'm at it, because reasons. Just reasons. So I don't have the same shenanigans happen this time around. And for anyone else who's played this quest and has the same thing happen, I know how it feels. I empathize with you. Believe me, it's it's both hilarious and not at the same time. But now we can actually do content. We can actually get through some content here. Oh, how did that miss? Sometimes the arrows that you fire don't follow the the reticle that you have for the sneak, so that kind of a pain. Also, these frenzied mud crabs in this secondary grouping, they are, well, let's just say they are even stronger than the ones before. We were just dealing with the baby ones, the, the wee little itty bitty babies. No, no, this time around, it's, it's the real deal. I say that as they completely um, destroy all the horkers. Although it's fine, I'm... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was watching that. Um, <laughs> um, I might have to do a... F I might make that a featurette right there. <laughs> Oh, that is such a funny glitch. <laughs> oh, no. That's so... Oh, it's so good. Where'd it go? I mean, it got... <laughs> These mud crabs, I swear. Who, who knew crab legs could jump that high? Wow. You're really something. Oh gosh. I should not have gone swimming. 
They can swim spectacularly well, which is spectacularly bad for me. Run. <laughs> Yep, this uh, frenzied mud crab will just pursue me to the ends of the earth. Which is why you find a nice rock to sit on where it cannot get to you. And wait. And wait some more. Need to be hidden for this to work properly. To be able to do the most amount of damage to it. There's a method to this sort of thing, and... Well... This mud crab won't know it hit him. Got the paralyze on it, too. Got it. Okay, just to make sure that this is... This is 6 out of 12. That's good. That's good. Halfway there. And before I continue on this, I'm going to do another quick save. Because I want to make sure that, well, it saves that. I want to make sure that that actually happened. So I don't have the same issue as last time. Okay, these mud crabs have gone everywhere on this beach. And... I mean, that's probably bad news. Probably bad news for me. Unless they've all gone back to the shack, in which case, that's best case scenario. I have no guarantee of that. I really don't. Come on. Be there. Okay. I count six arrows, which is good. Means all six mud crabs are over there. I'm going to see if I can try to sneak away this time. They're just so quick, and you can't really sneak from frenzied mud crabs that well. And the problem with the way this area is designed is that you can't get a good firing line on them. Yeah, so referencing that uh, earlier glitch that happened with the mud crab that went flying, sometimes... <sighs> Using something with paralysis on it will do that. I don't know the specific details of what causes that every single time. I just know that a lot of times that happens with paralysis, whether it's whether it's the actual spell, whether it's an enchanted item. When you use that, occasionally, if they're in just the correct position, they will go flying, and then they might float in the air for a little bit, like that one did. Like, he- that mud crab was literally defying me. He was blowing my mind. And it was great. Because, hit him with an arrow, he just went, what? He was gone. Oh, how did that miss? Come on. Oh gosh. Yeah. You apparently cannot sneak away from frenzied mud crabs. They just hone in on your position. Which is not great to say the least. I don't want to get surrounded by them either, because that would be bad. And just so that doesn't happen, I'm going to make sure that I have enough stamina to run away. Run while you still have legs to carry you. I believe is what the saying is on that. There was a mud crab there. Gosh dang it. The seafood fights back. That might do something to- oh, excellent, excellent.
Wait, but it's still only saying 6 out of 12. Okay, now it's a 7 out of 12. Just making sure that it's not going to glitch on me. Okay? I have to be sure. After what happened last episode, last bonus content episode, I am wary of this. I am... I will not stand for being bamboozled by seafood again. You can quote me on that. Such a weird thing to even say. But true. But it's true. Missed it. Ooh, that's a hit. That's a good one. Yes, I'm sniping seafood. Oh, good cinematic shot there. There you go. You put your pincers up. It's over for you. That's what you get, little mud crab. That's the look of, oh, no. No, please, no. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm kind of fed up with these mud crabs. I want to move on to greater and better things when it comes to fishing. Dealing with um, steroid induced mud crabs is not one of them. There's a real doping scandal in Skyrim, and it's uh, apparently prevalent among mud crabs. And that is the end of the breaking news. Yeah. So just have four more mud crabs to go. Four to go. We've remained undetected by cultists, dragons, and really anything else. Just the mud crab. That was a good that was a good one. Thank goodness for the paralysis on that. Okay, that's an interesting little overhang. Oh, there's a frost troll there. There's always something, isn't there? There always is. Okay. One of the mud crabs just had a bad day due to frost troll. Now frost troll has had a bad day. Although, I don't think that really did anything to it. I think it just, uh, angered it a little bit. Never mind. Well, no, Frost Troll, the Frost Troll is fighting frenzied mud crabs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Very good. Oh! 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 I believe if I can fly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he bounced. <laughs> he really bounced. And he sticks the landing. <laughs> that's a that's a nine from the US judge, a nine from the French judge, a nine and a half from the German judge. Uh looks like we have an eight point five from the Chinese judge, and ooh, that's a six from the Russian judge. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. Oh well. It was a very good performance. Very good. It looked to be a triple front flip. Although he Although they did score him pretty highly. Yeah, that's right, Tim. I uh, he apparently ragdolled instead of uh, flipping like he was supposed to. I I don't know if that's good gymnastics. <laughs> I don't even I don't either. What whatever the case is, I mean they, they scored him pretty well on it, so good way to round out his performance. And now oh that's a single backflip. Ooh. He went for a backflip and a half and uh, landed right on his back. Oh, oh, he, he's stunned. He's slow to get up. Oh, he's hopping mad. Oh, look at him. 
Oh, that the judges are not gonna score more. Oh boy. <laughs> he got. Looks like he got tied up a little bit. Oh, and again. He's having a hard time getting up, it looks like. Is this even legal in the Olympics? Uh that would be a uh, that would be a no. <laughs> he is heal- He is healing himself a little bit. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Nope, he's flat spread eagled on his back again. Uh, oh, he, he's getting back to his feet again. Oh, oh, oh no. Weird hitbox. It's okay, it's okay. We'll get him. We'll get him. We're not getting him. The arrows are just passing through him. Okay, finish this. No, weird hitbox. These rocks are a real menace, and we got a cinematic. Oh, oh, he's just floating there for. There we go. You know, in, in the featurettes on this, I might just do. If I do a featurettes on this video, it. I might just do a compilation of all the para paralysis fails on this. To be completely honest. Because there have been so many so far. Mud crabs just flying. The the frost troll just having a really bad day. Uh battle poor Olympics commentary. Like there there was a whole bunch going on there. Okay, this one, it appears, has retreated to the depths of a very frozen ocean. Which is a real pain. Although, oh, these are, uh, clams. Uh, oh, my cell was conked out. That's not great. Uh, some quick, some quick healing. That's good. Yeah, sneak's not really necessary at this point. He absolutely knows where I'm at. Or she, I don't know. I could ask it, but I don't think I would understand the answer that I would get. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, just tried and true method. Tried and true method of gravity. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get it to work, because Oh gosh, there goes the controller again. Gosh, why does it keep conking out on me? It's a real pain. You know, while I'm running, while I'm running for my life, or excuse me, while Felix, Od while Felix Oddball is running for his life, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you like what you're seeing. You want to see some more, because I'm definitely going to make more. Ow. I am currently failing to even get up on these rocks properly. <laughs> but don't hold that against me. Get it to work eventually. Oh, there goes the mud crab. Let's see if he can get to me. Oh, I missed that. Um, he appears to be... Oh, no, no, he's figured it out. He's figured it out. Is it a one type of crab? Probably. Oh, wow, he just went spinning in midair. And that's the end of him. Okay, good. We have made progress this episode. It didn't bork this time. We can actually search for clues now. We can actually make progression. Although, I do wonder. I, I hope it was just the mud crabs that need to take care of. Should be, should be. Based upon what I found last episode that we're now refinding again this episode. Oh, I'll take the arrow back from you. Okay. Here's the evidence. Uh, I did read this last time already. I'm not going to read it again. To make a long story short, he was offing mud crabs and then using necromancy to bring them back. They were the mud crabs were getting very angry about that. Basically, they became psychotic, frenzied, and they uh, well, they uh, off their master. So, 
that's what happened. And what was all what I also found last episode, uh, last bonus content uh, episode on this, was there is a journal from a man named Toleaf, the er, the owner of this. Um, I believe it's the owner of this cabin. A fisherman who occasionally rents this place out. He rented it out to Severe, the the necromancer who was doing the experiments on the mud crabs, and basically the guy said, yeah, I'm never coming back to the shack because this guy's a complete creep and weirdo. Like, this place is haunted. This, like, it's just crazy around here. Ooh, orcish arrows. I actually missed those last time, so that's good. Some fire salt, that's good. I need those for Balmond down in Riften. Um, oh, there goes my controller again. It's Oh, it's it's doing a lot of this conking out today. Don't worry about that. Uh, none of these appear to be skill books. You can always tell by the amount of value the book has. The more valuable books are the skill books. But anyways, we were actually able to do something. I can now return to Viria over at the Riften docks, and hopefully we'll get something good for doing that, because... I, I hope I get compensated here. for a pain in the butt job on that. Gracefully. Gracefully. Divine Divine. smile on you. On you as well, friend. But honestly, yeah. That I am so I'm so glad that uh, reforming what, took, what took Don't 75 minutes to last time before a crash was accomplished in about 20? 25? Also, I'm confused. Did we just trade places, Viria? Is that what happened? Did we... Now you're in the city. Maybe I walked right past you? I don't know. Where is it? Huh, okay. She's in Helga's bunkhouse. Okay. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Ah, I'm just uh, here to see Veria. Hmm? Name's Snippy. The mud crabs have been slain. They were driven into a fury by a necromancer. We sure showed them, eh? Thanks for your part in all that. Ah, you're very welcome. Um, Sevier drew, drew them to the coast using magic, but he lost his control over them. I understand. I've come to rely on you. There's something I want you to have. It was my father's. It would be my honor if you carried it. May the gods keep you. Alakir fishing rod. This Alakir rod is fit for a master fisherman. Thank you, Viria. You're too kind. Stay sharp out there. I would do that. I do you know if anyone in need of any more fishing work around Skyrim? I'm available. Of course. It's all in this note. Ah, excellent. Thank you. I'll take my leave then. Would you tell Read Bounty really Fang Tusk. Okay. It's a type of fish. Bounty! By order of the Jarl... Oh, no, no, no. This this will be in the voice of Ulfric, Ulfric Stormcloak. Bounty! By order of the Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. A fearsome orker has been preying upon fishermen north of Hollyfrost Farm. They say this beast drains the life from any who draws near it. Those that have encountered it and lived have taken to calling it Fang Tusk. The creature seems to enjoy eating arctic grayling above all else. This is a fish common to all frozen waters in the snowy north of Skyrim. Fishermen have been keeping it occupied. Oh, it, it's the voice. Never mind, it was penned by your leaf. Um, what is the voice? Uh, fishermen have been keeping it occupied by leaving offerings at it, its feeding grounds on the shoreline, but the time has come for this threat to be dealt with. Lure the beast out with an arctic grayling placed upon the shore, and come well armed. A reward will be offered to any who can manage to slay your leaf. Okay. Stop using that skooma. It's very bad for your health, and I want to see. So here's my question. What does the Alkir fishing rod do? 
is it any good? Greatly improves the chance of catching small fish when fishing. I'll agree. Okay. So that's what that does. But I also have the Argonian fishing rod, which greatly improves the chance of catching large fish when fishing. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go take care of this Tusk to Terror. I need to obtain an Arctic Grayling. Well, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had a lot of issues up here due to mud crabs and other denizens and things that really wanted me gone. But now it's broad daylight. Hopefully there won't be any issues because we cleared the area and oh my gosh, there's the dragon. Um, but I need to obtain an arctic grayling, right? So either I can, I can probably find it while swimming here, or there should be a fishing location along the shoreline, I believe. If that's the case, I can use that to my advantage. Let's check these as well. Clam, clam. Ah, none of them are oysters. I prefer the oysters because you can find, uh, you can find pearls and that sort of thing in them. But apparently, it's not happening, so. Um, I do not, no, I don't like how close that dragon is. I do not. Um, okay. Sadly, there's not a, a good fishing location that I know of that's up north. However, it was the Jarl of Windhelm that put out plea for aid. Wait, is this? You don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? Okay, just a random fisher person. Is this fisherman? But that is obviously a woman. So, I mean. Ah, yes, fishing supplies. Yes, of course, I need to have that equipped. Now, all that talk of small fish, it makes me believe that I need to use the Alakri rod in order to make this work. Because it just gave that to me, right? I mean, that would be the obvious thing to do. Also, it just randomly started snowing again in the game, and I'm not sure why. I'll take it. I guess. Angler larvae. That's a new one. Have not caught that yet. That's nice. But that's not what I'm after. Let's try again. Because we have a porker that needs to be taken care of. Arctic grayling. There it is. Place an arctic grayling at fang tusks feeding grounds. What are fang tusks feeding grounds? Oh. Just northeast of Windhelm, along the shore. I can, I can certainly do that. But are you maybe, feeling sick? Why would I be feeling sick? Why would you say that? Uh, uh oh. Right, I've uh, still got the rock joint. That's, uh, it's very unfortunate. Not much I can do about that, but, uh, I'll do what I can, and, yep, put common soul gem back on that, that's fine. Yeah, okay, and while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and quick save, might have already, if I did, that's the second time. Duels, wares, and wares, Move all on, for friend. sale, I have fair to say to I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Uh, what have you got for sale, Mataran? Take a look. I will take a look. A dark bow? I don't need that. Dark and golden items? Okay, I don't need those. Um, yeah. Last, last I saw these. Last I saw these, Khajiit, they were at the one of...
they were at, I believe it was either Saints or Sinners camp, or they were just up the road, and they helped me fight them, so... Or Saints and Seducers. Why did I say Saints and Sinners? That was wrong. It's Saints and Seducers. I always get, I always get that wrong. Um, yeah, you don't really have anything I... Huh. Oh, wow, these are all very, um, hard, harder to get items. They also have fishing maps, which I will go ahead and buy. And then they have amber that would be used to create items or improve them. But apparently I don't have a high enough smithing skill to have those unlocked. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. What I will do here, though, is I have 22 amethysts that I can sell, so I'll do that. I'm still planning on doing something with the bucket, don't worry, that will be a, that'll be a short bonus content video. But until then, just have to wait on that. Um, let's sell the flawless garnets. I'm, and some other, just regular garnets would have been 420 gold okay that's fine may your road lead you to warm sack ah hmm? do you work for Isad? he hired the others and paid for my goods i am allowed to run the caravan but i pay Risad a percentage of my profits ah, i say this without bitterness for it was Risad who saved me from a life of servitude aboard a trading ship I am grateful to have the life that I do now. It is a far cry from my days as an orphan on the streets of Corinth. Ah. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Thank you. See you later, friend. And now, let's go uh, take out a horker. How bad can this be? Famous last words, right? How bad can this be? Like it's, it's just a horker. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. Ah. Halu Farm discovered. Okay. Hello, chicken. Here's Hollyfrost Farm, so we're getting close. Ah, yes, goats. Yep. Every time. The joys of having a fainting goats mod. Just once again, thank you to the creator of that. Bring some added hilarity and humor to the game every time I play. Oh, there's a rabbit. I could do something about that, but you know what? I won't. Rabbits are cute. I'm, no, I'm not just gonna needlessly do anything to them. Ingol Barrow. Hmm. Looks creepy. Not today. I have... I have, uh... uh other things to do. You know, fish to fry, so to speak. Or horkers to roast. I see cliffs there that I might be able to make advantage, take advantage of. Only thing is, horkers are not known for being the fastest creatures, or for that matter, the best at uh, getting up cliffs. So, bear that in mind. Oh, this also looks like a perfectly terrible place. Okay, there's Fang Tusk. Um. Okay. Wait, what is going on?
that wolf's got that ice wolf has to go. I don't know why. Like I'm seeing something really weird here. I don't know if that's Fang Tusk that's doing that. But Huh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Or is it or is Fang Tusk or does Fang Tusk have some sort of vampiric ability? That it's using on this ice wolf. That might be the case. So because of that. Hmm. Well now I don't see the ice wolf, so I don't know what happened to it. Uh the bear's putting up a good fight against the bank tusk, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oop! Paralyzed Fang Tusk. That's a sign you've had a bad day. Oh, there you go again. Excellent. Oh, Snow Bear's having a really bad day. I've also been detected. Okay. This worker might be a lot faster than the ones I've dealt with. Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm going at a very slow walking speed backwards. And I don't seem to be having any issues. In fact, I just paralyzed Fang Tusk. Oh gosh. Fang Tusk does have a vampiric ability. He doesn't seem to gain health. Though. That's the thing. He just steals life force from people. Very interesting. Hey, Frosty, how you doing, my friend? Um, hey, I need you for something. See, I've got this horker problem, and y you know how that goes, right? Right? Like, we've all been there. We've all had a horker problem. Yeah, uh, he stole something of yours. Okay? No, no, it's not me you should be mad at. Yeah, I know you're hopping mad. Don't use that aggression against me. It's not it's not me you're mad at. No, 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 no. It's him. It's him. Fang Tusk. Come on. Come on. No, no, it's not me you're mad at. Okay? What I just get done saying? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, take out your aggression on him, please. I'll, I'll be here to back you up on that. Also, my controller is conking out again. Ugh. <sighs> Fang Tusk has seriously taken a lot of damage here. That's good for me. Oh, Frosty, get out of my way, please. That was a critical underbelly shot. Oh, no. Oh. Wolf flop. Oops, I hit Frosty and all that. Okay. Fang Tusk is regaining health now. It is confirmed. It's a... It's a vampiric porker. No way. Oh boy, Frosty, is he, is, is Fang Tusk doing something bad to you? Oh, oh no, oh. oh, man, 
such a bad day. I'm so sorry about that. Fang Tusk is trying to run for it. Got him. Now it's just a snow bear to have to deal with. Got it. Anybody else have a problem with me around here? Another bear down there, but I think it's running away. It should be fine. Also might be famous last words, but here we go. What have we got here? Searching? <clears throat> Vampiric Ring. Allows you to cast the spell Drain Life. Yep. That would do it. Vampire Glove. And Vampire Dust. It must have ingested a vampire. You might say, excellent deduction, Sherlock. Of course that's what happened. Isn't that obvious? <sighs> Probably. But if that were true, yeah, then why would have we do Keep your dis vampire hunters. What happened, dear? In the old fort, Another the girl killed. My this is Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Another. This has happened before. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl, killed at night, body torn up. How the murder has been investigated We are stretched anyone. thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Could you use some help? If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yes. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Request to meet. Oh boy. Frozen fish. Uh... Okay. Request to meet. What are we looking at here? Um, it's not the mysterious. No. No, it's not. It's not. Um. No, 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 no. Fishing work, maybe? Ah! Felix Oddball. I've got more work for you. You're the one who seeks fishing challenges, right? If it was you, come by the Riften Fishery. If it wasn't you, well, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Swims in deep water. Hmm. Alright. Well, give us a straight answer. What is it? He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Ah, uh, so 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 I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Thank Tusk has been slain. It's really dead then? It may be dead now, but where did it come from? An enchanted ring in Thank Tusk God seems to have been the source of its power. You've done well. Thank you. Ah. You think I need travelers, to travelers should be safe now. Well, if by message you mean at least safe from giant vampire horkers. <laughs> That's not a sentence we could say very often now, is it? Thank you. Here, this is for you. Ah, thank you. 200 gold. A little bit cheap, but that's fine. We can ask Viria about some additional fishing bounties as well, so that's good. And I need to talk to uh, Swims in Deep Water anyway, so... Ooh, no, but read the request to meet. Is that what I just did? Didn't I just do that? Or do I need to read it again? Hmm. No, it's just called a request to meet. Uh, ooh. Thank you for your efforts to protect my realm. I believe you possess something that I'm in search of, and I require it before I return home. It is the artifact from the Shivering Isles that serves as the focus of Thoron's depraved rituals. Meet me beneath the Arch of Solitude upon the shore so that we might make an exchange.
Well, that is not a um, that is not a fishing matter. I will let you know that. That is definitely not a fishing matter. No. That goes along with the Saints and Seducers DLC. Yeah, which what do you I have not finished yet. I'm the brewmaster around here. Or, what did you want? Which I don't know why I went to the Blackbriar metery there. Arrow was leading me there, but arrows can be misleading. Gosh dang it, the GPS is wrong again. As I was saying that is going to be that's something that's gonna to have to be done in a normal episode of this in in my legendary playthrough to finish up that arc I really do wonder who could be uh, looking for that but yes hmm? I've got your letter I'm ready for the next fishing challenge of course it's all in of this course. note all right I'll be back with the fish. My thanks to you. Okay. He gave me another note. I'm carrying a lot of notes and that sort of thing, so that's... Well, that's terrifying. Um, it's not fishing work, I know that. It should be note on... List of Arctic fish. The fish you have brought back are getting along swimmingly. Which makes sense, given their fish. But I mean swimmingly, in the way people say it. I suppose both could be true. The next set of fish I will have you catch will be tough to chew. They swim in frozen waters, and their scales are as thick as ice. Maybe your hook will be the one to melt their scales and their hearts. Here's the list. Angler larvae, arctic char, arctic grayling, cod, happy fishing. Refer to my excellent third volume of Fishing Mastery if you wish to know more. Which, I will definitely read that. I've read the other two, so it's only fair that I read the third one, which has been magically added to the shelf. Fishing Mastery, Volume 3, by Swims in Deep Water. Skyrim is known for its cold. Just say the word to an outlander and a shiver, and a sh shiver, shiver, and a shiver will run up their spine before biting them in the neck. But for an aspiring fisher, this miserable frozen snowscape is more bark than bite, and an opportunity to discover new deep water fish. In this guidebook, you will find tips for catching fish in arctic snow fringed waters. The most important tip being to keep yourself warm. In ca your cast true and your line steady, let the shivers crawl up the fish instead. Any fish with freezing water will do, but if you're looking for a few places to get started, try fishing the Vorgrim River off the docks of Windhelm. Fishing from the sea near the ships in Dawnstar should also lead to a few bites. Finally, Nightgate Inn has a small lake that visitors have been known to enjoy casting their lines into during their stays. Excellent intel. That is excellent intel. Also, almost ran into a door there, or no, almost to it, actually did run into a door there. That's fine. And I already have one of these fish, which is nice. But instead of going all the way up to Dawnstar, Windhelm seems like a very good option for this. Down on the docks. Because, well... I'm less... Felix here is less likely to get attacked, and let me tell you. He had a lot of that last, ep last episode. He's fed up with it. He would rather just fish and not be attacked while fishing. He just wants a nice, relaxing fishing day. You know? You know what I mean? A nice day to relax where you don't have to do I anything, or people are, where people Sky aren't the just annoying the living daylights out of them. Alright, so let's uh, head out under the docks here and locate that fishing location. Let's see here. We got a nickname for anyone who trifles with us guards here in Windhelm. Suicide. Ah, glad to see you are very dedicated to your work. Let's see. Ah, there's the fishing want, location. Yeah. What do I want? I just want to fish. I have to have fishing items.
Uh, yeah, let's go after some... I don't know how many of these are large fish and how many of these are small fish. So, I'm going to use this for a few casts, and then I'll use the Alakri one for a few casts as well. And see how that goes. Arctic Grayling. Good. That's excellent. So now I have two of the fish that are needed, just need two more. Um, I'm not, yeah, not sure if they're small or large. That's not a fish. That's a flagon. You think I want that game? Really? It, more junk. Really? Are we just... Are we just out of fish that fishing location? Is that is that what's happening? It's now just junk? Okay. Take your junk back. I'm going to do this to a fish. I'm just going to jump in. See what we have with that here. Oh, it's just salmon. Ah, uh, that's... Uh... <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. Two other locations were mentioned in that book. There was the waters north of Dawnstar, or at Dawnstar, maybe. And then there was Nightgate Inn as well, which is up this direction. So let's uh, fast travel over to Fort Castoff. Hopefully nothing goes catastrophically wrong in the process. Ah, good. Stormcloak soldiers are there. Oh, but I need to go through or past Your them. trespassing here. You'd better clear out. I'm sorry, uh, let me go around. Nothing to see here. I don't mean to be trespassing, I just... When the fort is, uh... Goes through the roadway, well, you know... You know how it is. And then, of course, I trespass over to this side, and that'd be convenient, Captain's Quarters, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. This doesn't concern you, friend. No, it doesn't. Move along, move along. Like a storm, like the stormtroopers from Star Wars, use my Jedi mind tricks on you. Yeah. Oh wait, this is by the. Uh, I want to say it's the seducers camp. Yeah, because that's what that is, which is still cleared out. I thought Nightgate Inn was up this way. Should be... Should be along the road somewhere. That might be it right there. You see where my uh, cursor is? That might be it. That lake. Or pond. If not, oh well, we're going on an adventure to find a fishing location. Because it's been forever since I've been to Nightgate Inn. In this game. Ah, uh, who are you, friend? I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Ah, uh, alright, friend. Yep, Nightgate Inn is up ahead. Let's go ahead and quick save it. Just so that, uh, everything goes according to plan. Because it didn't last episode. That's another camp over there. That was another seducer's camp. But now, about an hour into the recording, we're making, definitely making some good progress with this. There it is. Night get in with its glorious lake. Let's see if I can, pond, lake, ah, pond. It, that's pond sized. Let's see if we can find the fishing gear. Unless there's not a bucket or barrel of fishing gear. It might just be... It might be something where I have to jump in the water, actually. Entirely possible. Oh, it's so hard to see under here. Oh, man. It's dark. Oh, there's the fishing stuff. Never mind, I was being an idiot.
an ID10T. There I go again. Ah yes, fish at this location. Excellent. Much better than Windhelm. I hope they stock this place well. Do they stock fish in Skyrim? Maybe. Another Arctic Grayling. Okay. I want to say a cod is going to be a larger fish. So I'm going to keep using this rod and then I'll probably switch over to all three one. Assuming that there's still going to be fish. Here. Angler larvae. Okay. So it, just, it only increases the chance of larger fish. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're guaranteed to get larger fish. Which makes sense. You can really catch anything on these rods. Oh, junk. Goblet. Well. Appears there are no more fish at this location, but now I've discovered Nightgate Inn, so I can go back to there at any time. Let's fast travel over towards the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Maybe see if I missed a fishing location on the docks. I don't think I did. I think fishing location up here is probably going to be that one by the shack. But I could be wrong. There could be a fishing location here in Dawnstar, which would be extremely nice. Also, who are you? Looking to hire a boat? Ah, uh, no, no friend. Sorry, I'm not. Your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Hey, what are you doing? Dragon, no. Look out. This is why coming to Dawnstar is so dangerous. Oh no. The NPCs. And I'm holding a fishing rod. Yes, dragons are a real pain in the butt, aren't they? Well, it looks like you're gonna probably get to see a dragon fight here. Oh, that's so cheap when they do flybys like that. So cheap. Oh, the NPCs. No. No. Yeah, no. I said you might get to see a dragon fight here. You probably will get to see one. But here's the thing. I don't want those NPCs to be dead in game. Put it that way. So, I am going to very probably foolishly travel by land to get to that shack again. From this, from coming from the west. That way I can discover locations along the coast there that might be closer. I'll just take that. Yeah. That way I can discover a location Probably that shipwreck that's over there, to be closer. Have better place to fast travel to and that sort of thing. Because I want those, I want those arctic fish. I really do. Because I like that I'm making progress, but everything is leading back to the north of Skyrim. To Dawnstar. Which is honestly probably one of my least favorite holds in Skyrim, because it's just, it's ruthless, It's what it is. There's just so many things up here that just, need I say more as we watch what's happening off in the distance there? Like, look at that. That is a pack of three ice wolves. They're not just wolves, they're ice wolves, and there's three of them. I don't want to deal with that right now. I just want to fish. Ooh, pearlfish? Did I... I don't need a... No, I don't need pearlfish, I don't think. No. 
Take it though. Maybe I'll find other types of fish that I need that are swimming out here. Uh, these look to be probably salmon, and they are. I don't need salmon. <laughs> salmon are so common. No one would want salmon. No, they want they want the uncommon or rare fish. That's that's what people want. Okay. Oh gosh, I've angered the uh, local fauna, aka waterfish. However, they cannot get me on land, so that is disappointing for them. Got him with a good unrelenting force, it looks like. Hello, horkers on the coast. How are you doing? I don't have a beef with you, so I'm just going to be passing on by. On land, of course, because there are slaughterfish everywhere up here. Don't mind me. I'll be on my way. Quick saving as I do so. Alright. There's a shipwreck up there. I definitely want to get there so I can use that as a fast travel location in the future. Also, if you hear my stomach growling on on the audio of this, it's because I am filming this because I pushed lunch I pushed lunch back a little bit because I'm not I had a late breakfast and wasn't exactly hungry. <coughs> also, sorry about the sneeze. So yeah. <laughs> Haven't had a late breakfast and that sort of thing. You know? I I thought I was... I thought I could push off lunch. I thought I could stave it off, but no. Hunger always gets you in the end, doesn't it? So I'll have to go take care of that in a few minutes. But you know what? I want to try to catch those arctic fish first. Because content. Also, once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I, I do read those. I will read them. And I'll try to respond as quickly as I can to that. As best as I can. Also, where along this coast is the shack? There it is. Wow, okay. It's like a homing pigeon on that one. I just... Oh yeah, it's right here. Oh, gosh. This dragon's gonna be a menace. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is this is a great viewpoint to be at, Felix. Also, somehow not drowning from this, which is nice. Oh gosh. Oh nope, never mind, there it is. It set in. It was happening. Ah, it's just seven. Okay. That dragon is gonna be a real issue though, so gonna make a mad dash to this cabin this the chest I searched already and the Fisher person there you are I can yes, take it I, I would not suggest going out there I cannot sleep there when enemies are nearby that is a pain harvest some of this because that's uh those are alchemy ingredients okay sleeping in the bed here you know what let's just sleep through the night because new day maybe the dragon will just go by it'll just leave it'll go away because i don't want to deal with it i don't feel like dealing with it if you know what i mean the like, dragon fights are great but there you are. I just <sighs> I can take you. It's just it's oh not great. <sighs> oh 
Oh yeah, did like no damage to the frost dragon with a sneak attack. How's the uh, fisher person doing? They are still standing there by the boat. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the other way around, but okay. I like your enthusiasm. Oh, don't you- no, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. I warned you. I did warn you. This is what you get. You tried to fight a dragon on your own. Yeah, go- yeah, just run and hide, coward. Get to safety. Ooh. Fishing map for the pale. I did buy this, didn't I? This just night gate in, I believe. Yeah, it's just that's just night gate in. I I already know that. Uh, ooh, hit that one. I think. Oh, that dragon knows exactly where I'm at. Yep, so you'll get to see that dragon fight you wanted to see, if you wanted to see it. If you didn't want to see it, well, you're seeing it anyways, because... Uh, I didn't get lucky enough to not have the dragon here. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I need to see who that was. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, special delivery. <laughs> he just got chucked. I think, yeah, if, if I... If I do a featurettes video on this, it'll just be a com yeah, it'll be a compilation of just failures and funnies of physics glitches, a dragon chucking a bandit my way. That'll, I think, that'll be. I think that'll be fun. Also, are all these arrows just missing? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, yeah, they're just missing. How's the fish person doing? They are just uh, cowering there. Oh, where did... I felt that. The dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Victory no. I submit. Just, just, just go run. Run away. Run and hide. I, I can take the dragon on by myself. As I uh, feel exhausted by the guy. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of arrows to take this dragon out. Um, I don't. There's not a window here at the back of the shack, so I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Death is highly overrated. Oh, that's a very funny line in this game. Okay, so. Okay. So good news is they are I think unkillable, maybe. The NPC there. If not, then I'm just in for a bad day. Oh no. Really? Again? Please fix that. They should not be able to bite through a structure. Okay. Let's let's be real here. That's come on. That's not okay. That's not okay that the dragon can do that. How are you supposed to fight a dragon that can just reach through a building with walls and an actual structure and just eat you? Just munch you. It's just wrong.
Uh, I think I missed that. I don't know if that went over or under, though. That's the thing. It was so far out there. Okay, note to self. Don't stand close enough to the wall to get launched. What? I can't stay here. I'm put okay, if I do a if I do a feature at video, which I'm likely going to do, I'm definitely going to include that clip into that because um I have no idea what happened there. I don't even think it munched me that time. The dragon just landed and then Felix was just done for. Also, somehow I am spotted here. I don't know why. Oh, this is convenient. Death blow of Ebernanit. Ebernanit? The death blow of Ebernanit. With explanations by the sage Jogratis Varnas. Broken battlements and wretched whales. Oh, never mind. I read that incorrectly. As bleak and dark as that sounded, that was wrong. Broken battlements and wrecked walls where worship of the horror one once embraced the bites of fifty winters to frost and wind have cracked and pitted the unholy gates and brought down the cruel obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing, more than dust. The blood is dried and screams have echoed out. Framed by hills in the wildest forlorn places of Morwind, it's just the barren bones of Evernonit. When thrice blessed Rangili Rangil Rangadil III first saw Evernon, it burnished silver bright with power and permanence. A dreadful place with dreadful men to guard. It with fever glass, uh, glassed eyes and strength through the horror. Rangadil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armages he led, watching from the hills above the field and castle of death. While it stood, it damned the souls of the people of Morwen, a cursed, inquisitious castle, Ebernanit. The alarm was sounded calling the holy warriors to battle, to answer villainy's shield with justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangadil too grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash to shake the clouds down from the sky. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched the ground of the field, a battle like no other of Morrowind, to destroy the evil of Evernathus. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms, for certs, but the three holy fists of mother, lord, and wizard, four, pushed the wizard's army back in charge after charge. Rangadil saw from above, urging the army to defend. Degothros V himself, in his pernicious tower spire, and knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land ever be truly saved. He pledged then by the temple and the holy tribunal of Morrowind to take the tower of Evernani. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to tell the spot to fell the spire came to naught. As if all the strength of the horror held that one tower, the stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not ascend it side by side. So single file, the army clambered up and up to take the tower room and end the reign of one of the cruelest petty tyrants of the Annals of Morwind, Degothros of Evernanet. They awaited a victory cry from the first to scale the tower, but silence only remained, and then the blood, first only revolt, and then a scarlet chorus poured down the steep stairwell, with the cry from above, Degothras is besting our army one by one! Rangadil called his army back, every ordinator and boy into Amagir, and by himself ascended the stairs, passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morwind to the tower room of Ebernanin, like a raven of death on its area was Degothras, holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door. Every thrust of Rangadil's spear was blocked with ease. Every 
The slash of Rangadil's blade was deflected away. Every blow of Rangadil's mace was met by the shield. Every quick arrow shot could, not, could find no purchase. For the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing, that no weapon from no warrior found in Old Morwen could pass the shield of Febernath. As hour passed out, Rangadil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dagothras, for he could exhaust them by blocking their attacks, and then thus weakened. They were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangadil felt even his own mighty arms growing numb. While Dagothras anticipated and blocked it, each cut, and Rangadil feared that without the blessing of the Divine Three of Morwen, he'd die in the Tower of Abernathy. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe! I am Rangadil, a prince of the true temple, and I've fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and has failed. Very few can anticipate which blow I'm planning, and fewer, knowing that, know how to arrest the design, or have the strength to absorb all of my strikes. There is no greater master of shield blocking all of Morrowind than here in the castle of Ebernanet. My foe, Dark Lord Digger Thrust, before you slay me, I beg you. Tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Dagothras heard Rangadil's plea, decided that before he got it, the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife. How his instinct and reflex worked, and as he started to explain, he realized he did not know how he did it, and watched, puzzled as Rangadil delivered what the Tales of Morwen called the Deft Blow of Ebernanet. A.K.A. Rangadil distracted Dagothras. Dagothras. <laughs> That's fitting. Shield. Ooh, a glass shield. A light armor shield. I want that. I believe I have an orcish shield fine that I need to get rid of, which is okay. Because now I have a light armor shield that I can utilize. Shield for shield. I believe that is a very fair trade. Cannot wait when there are enemies nearby. Yep, that dragon is still a menace. I want a quick save because, well, I read that skill book and found that glass shield. So, apparently, yeah, it that is not going to be any easier, apparently. Since that is the case... Let's go back to Nightgate Inn. That way I am not accosted by a dragon at every single turn. Um, let's try to catch small fish. Let's see what that does. Okay, it looks like there are fish here. You can tell by the little splashing signature there. I, I think that's how that works. A steel war axe. No, I don't want that. Okay, there's a bite. Secondary bite. Third bite. What have we got? A juvenile mud crab. Okay. That's fair. I am catching small stuff. Still, though. A best in longfin. Let's look. Let's look what I need to catch here: a cod and an arctic char. Well, those are probably going to be larger fish. I don't think the catch, the catching smaller fish rod is working well. So I'm going to switch back over to the argonian rod from the alacri rod and see if this does any better. I hope it does.
Arctic Grayling. That was a fish on the list, but now I have two of them. That's a shame. Oh, I'm, I've reached the point where I'm just catching junk now, right? Ooh, maybe not. Something's biting. Could it be something I need? Angler larvae. I've only found two of the fish. Maybe the other two are just uncommon or, or rare. Maybe that's how it works. Random number generation, of course. Ooh. Three bites that time. Arctic char. Okay, excellent. Now we just need the cod, which you would think would be a fairly easy fish to catch. Cod are very common in cold waters, right? So I don't know. I'm... Oh, that's junk. Honed ancient Nord mace. Oh, boy. Heavy. And completely unnecessary. I don't need that. Since, so that fishing hole has run out of fish again. Let's head back to Wintel. Uh, honestly, it might be it might be quickest to fast travel to a farm there and then just swim across the lake. Because those are the docks right there. I, I don't want to have to travel through the entire city of Wintel again just to get down to the docks. No, I can just boop, jump there, jump here, and boom, on the docks. Easy as that. Let's head back to the fishing location and see if we can catch that cod. And then I'm going to end the episode after completing this quest here because I've been going for about an hour and a half already. You know, some good fishing content. Absolutely. Also, I do like how this fishing rod looks, rod looks like it has a harpoon on it. That's very nice. Another Arctic Grayling. I don't need that. I need a cod. Please. I'm very particular about what type of fish I want. I'm very particular about what type of fish I want to catch. So please, let me get it. Maybe. Three bites. Four bites. That might be a... Angler? Wait. Ooh, valued at 30. I don't know if that's a rare fish or not. Could be. Just wasn't expecting to catch it. It's not one that I need, by any means. But 30 gold for fish. That's better than what I have been getting for fish. Okay, four bites. Another angler. I mean, it sounded like there's a little <gasps> effect. I don't know why. So maybe an angler, but I just caught two of them in a row. They can't be, they can't be a rare fish if you catch two of them in a row. That's not how that works. Okay, another arctic char. I need a cod. just need a cod. That's all I need. Hmm. Another arctic grayling. So maybe cod, maybe a cod is the rare one. It always seems like there is a rare type of fish in each group. Like, in each quest grouping, there's always one that it takes forever to get. Angler larvae. I'm going to look this up. I don't normally do this, because I like to go I like to go into these quests cold, as in not lo having looked things up. Just to give it a little more randomness, and so that there's a sense of discovery to it. 
I'm seeing salmon swim below there. It's another angler. Uh, cod. Skyrim. Yeah, because that's another arctic railing there. A cod is a very small fish. Oh no, it says... No, it says it's a large fish. Common, any weather. Sources, freezing waters. Uh, outside Anja's Mill, or outside Bronzewater Cave. So, I'm having very bad luck just catching it. So... Where is Bronzewater Cave? I want to say Bronzewater Cave is along here. Uh, what are you running? For? I really don't mean to be rude, friend, but I'm not feeling particularly sociable. Ah, yes, yes, I, I understand that. I understand that would completely, friend. Okay. Oh, I'm not even heading the right direction, am I? Because I need, I need to be going that. way. The other direction. So behind the inn. Okay. Let's go find Bronzewater Cave. I believe it said out. It did say outside Bronzewater Cave, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So they might just be swimming there. Which would be nice, because that's what I need. What's my carry weight look like? 367. So as long as it's not 3 carry weight or over, it should be fine. I'm just gonna sneak back through this camp again. Yep. Yep, it's Bronzewater Cave. There is a fishing location here. With, uh, Dweemer items. Okay, fishing supplies. But maybe they're just... But maybe they do just swim here. Not seen them, though. But it's interesting that there is a fishing location here. So, I'm gonna go and quick save. Just to make sure that I have discovered this location. And then, I'm still using the Argonian Rod because... From what I saw, it's a large fish. Well, I mean, cod is a fairly large fish. So if I can catch it here, that would be excellent. Please tell me that's not junk. A, a, a Dweemer gear. I don't need that. I mean, I appreciate that I can catch that here, but still. slightly annoying um there is another fishing location here that's an arctic grayling i don't need that um yeah those are just fishing supplies there are two things of fishing supplies here that is baffling so maybe this will be the better fishing location here who knows maybe that one over there is just for fishing up dweemer junk Oh, no, apparently this one is just as bad for that sort of thing. Yeah, I just got something that was 25 carry weight. Whether it's pounds, kilograms, I don't know. That's horrendous. Okay, Nordic Barnacle Cluster. Yeah, unless I'm just missing something very obvious, I'm I'm gonna search the waters here, see if I can find anything that's just swimming around that I need. Yeah, see, there it is. It was just swimming there. Yeah, that fishing location, useless for catching fish, 
and I suspect probably useless for the Dweemer fishing rod as well. So yeah, let's go uh, talk to Swims in Deep Water and see what he has to tell me. Also, that says the Black Blair... Black Blair... No, Black Briar Metery. Which I do not need to go into again. That's a dead end. Ah, yes. I'm glad I could catch you. Hmm? Here are the fish you asked for. It has done a good thing. It will take this gift as a token of gratitude. I'm ready for the next fishing of course. challenge. Maybe you can help me. Ooh. Uh. Caves are dangerous. You're lucky I'm the one doing this for you. My thanks to you. Okay. As I said, I'm going to end the episode right here. It's been a very successful cleaning up act after the after the horrendous episode last time. But was able to get rid of those pesky mud crabs. Um, took out Fang Tusk, a horker that had a vampiric ring in its possession. Which, once again, if you're a vampire, why do you also need to have a vampiric ring? It doesn't make much sense. Although it did have vampire dust and other vampire items within it, so I don't know. And then caught the frozen fish. So now, the last quest. I think it's the last collection quest. Darkest Depths. Underground fish. But that'll be for the next Gone Fishing episode. This is the Nerdy Librarian signing off. Have a good night. I hope you enjoyed the video.